we we recording now. Let's talk. Oh, so, cheers! Oh, we got a cheers. Cheers, first. cheers, like, cheers. We'll have ten years of celibacy. Okay, ten years. Yeah, no. I, I'm all okay with that. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking like, ah, oh, yeah. You gotta get it all the way. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> all right, so let's talk real quick. Mm. I'm behind the camera this time. Okay. So really quick, just to introduce yourself. Hi everybody, I am Noella, also known as Alva Noel's Ism on Instagram. Yep. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I consider myself a solo female traveler, and I take pride in it. Okay. All right, and you? What's going on? I'm Urban Dan. I was born and raised in uh, Jersey, and I live in Philadelphia now. Good. So I'm living my best life now. About to finish school. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I just love to travel the world on my free time. So all right, good. All right, so it seems like we didn't we didn't assemble like the Avengers team of travelers. Yeah, mm. Pretty much. Got, right. I got all five the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. We, we we just catching the Infinity Stones yeah, yeah, at this yeah, point. Much. All right. So really quick, list your favorite countries. Oh, that's stupid. Top three. Top three: Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Canada, even though you're from there, it's yes. something about it, huh? Yes. Okay. Yes, Canada. Okay. And, um, oh, shoot. Um, Ghana? Thailand? No. I don't want to get, I don't want to be biased and give Nigeria or India because we all know that I'm a Niger girl, so let's see okay. what they cause now. Okay. But I will say maybe, maybe Solomon Islands. Okay, Solomon Islands. What about you? Top three, real quick. Top three, Columbia. Columbia's. Okay. I knew he was gonna say that. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get. Even though it's getting a lot of players lately, I gotta give it to Indonesia. That's not wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. They strict as hell, but it's okay. Yeah. And Iceland. Iceland. Damn. Oh, Iceland was. Holy shit! I gotta go to Iceland, then, don't I? Yes, you have to. I'm going shit. back. When? I don't know yet, but you let me know and I'll go. Okay, so you guys know my top. Well, I don't even know if I, my top three. Yes, yes, you got to It's hear. not on. You can't, yeah, it's on, but it's not on. So my top countries right now. Wait, so it's not recording? Ooh. That's cool. Okay, okay. It's recording, but for some reason it turns the thing on. No problem. My top three, I'm going to say right now, Brazil oh, yeah. and Colombia are in the top one and two. Oh, yeah. This is the when, when, you encompass, when you encompass everything, you have mm -hmm. to. Uh, as far as number three, number three is... It's probably, it will probably be Thailand. Okay. It, it, has, it has to be Thailand okay. because I spent so much time there. Mm -hmm. I know so many people. I built so many good relationships. Mm -hmm. Thai massages for $8 an hour. Shoo. You can't beat that. No, sir. Uh, and they, they love your boy in Thailand, so. Also, oh. What's up? sorry, put it in context because you can say your favorite top three countries and you only been to five. <laughs> How many countries have you been to, Urban Dan? Uh, almost 20 now. I'm not like Ow. this one. Okay. I'm a young traveler, by the way. Okay. So How old are you, by the way? I'll be 26 this, uh, in, in October. So next month. Okay. So you just, you be like 40, 50? I've been to 71 countries. Oh, 71. Jesus. Okay. What? What? Well, hold on. Let me let me pick up my girl's nose no, because no, no. Oh, she God. doesn't put this in her bio that she's going to 71 countries. You know how many people will go like crap up on the Instagram? That can monetize. You could get monetized so with that. This girl, she knows. Oh, she knows. What's she talking about? Yes, I do a little bit, but I just got on social media like not even a year ago. So I always was private about my travels. Now I'm out there because we need to let everybody know that melanated people yeah. travel just as much as yeah. everybody else. Yeah, we got you gotta let them know. <laughs> hey, just yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Makes you crazy. Yes, it, does. It, it makes you intelligent too. Oh, it yeah. makes you very um amalgamated with others. Yeah, and it, it, you get you get it you get a better sense of your surroundings. Mm. You know what time it is. So, yeah, what exactly. Is okay, I have a question for everybody. I feel tangential when I talk on camera, but what is your um, strongest lesson that you've learned from travel? Strongest lesson? 
the best lesson or the most valuable lesson you've ever learned from traveling? For me, it's as simple as there's good people and bad people. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, okay. green, yellow, yeah, that's true. Gary, Russian. There's going to be people who are going to do you wrong and there's going to be people who are going to do you right. Yeah. So, okay. Simple lesson, that's what I learned. All right, what about you? Well, give me yeah, take the camera from me. So the biggest lesson that I learned being an MT, as a teacher, for you who don't know, mm -hmm. is that you can't you can't take what you learn in America and apply it to everywhere else. Not everybody's out to get you. Okay, so that's almost the same kind of it is. yeah, it is. Lesson. It's like, Hey man, there's some cool ass people in Hungary. There's some cool ass people in in, uh, in England and Thailand, Philippines, Japan, all over. So when a lot of guys, they don't have that mindset. They haven't developed that mindset. And the only way you can really develop it is if you travel and you make some moves. You will see that hey, Colombians are cool as hell. They showing love. Brazilians are showing love. We in Hungary, they showing mad love. Okay. Uh, Korea, Koreans were showing love, mm -hmm. cooking and you know acting a fool out there. So I say all that to say, when you travel, you will see that you can't pay attention, pay attention to what's going on in the United and, States and what the media portrays to yes. be. Okay. Yeah. So okay. when I was in, when I, I remember when I was in Brazil, a taxi driver was telling me he's like he was telling me how upset he was at how the media was was. Uh, Telling the stories about Rio and how dangerous it is, yes, how bad it is. Yes. He, he's like, I live here. It's not. It's bad, but it ain't as bad as the media says. Yes, and yes. I, I really took that to heart. It's so. the same as in Africa. They tell yeah. you that in Africa, the pe people there are starving and skinny. And going crazy. Yes, yeah, so yes. They, so that's why I say, go and see for yourself. If you're scared to go to a country, go to your, go to your go and see it for yourself and become an expert in it. Okay. You feel me? It's I feel that. I feel that. I actually I resonate with that because uh, I'm I'm not gonna say I have that same kind of um, uh, life lesson that I've learned from travel because as a Canadian, I don't really have the same feelings like a lot of Americans do about feeling yeah. that target. Yeah, because, exactly. Especially coming from Toronto, where we're the most we're the second most multicultural city in the world. Yeah, like, that's a big deal. I think my greatest lesson that I learned in travel is the power of auto-suggestion. For you people who don't know the definition of auto-suggestion, I will gladly define it to you. It is the belief that if you want something, you can do it. Because growing up, I always thought that it was only like rich people who ever traveled and like people who like, you know, white people, yeah. Chinese, yeah. Uh, only rich people. I never realized that travel was a possibility and that if I put my mind to something, whatever it be, and travel be that, I will get it. And I auto-suggested many years ago that I'm going to be, I'm going to travel the world by the time I'm 40. Yeah. And now, I'm not 40, but I'm 31, I'm getting close. And you already hit it. And I'm getting up there. And this, I only started travel like five years ago. Okay. So that's a lot of travel and a lot of auto-suggestion every every month that I want something and look what's happened. I got it. Yeah. So that's another thing. A, a lot of people, they just, they give up. Mm -hmm. They give up they or, believe it's or they come up with an excuse. Oh, I can't travel because I, I too much. I work too much or I'm too lazy to go get my passport. I don't have all my documents. Yes. Or I so, don't have the money. Oh, I don't have the money. Or I don't have the friends. That's the biggest one. Yeah. I don't have anybody to travel with. And look, and look, so the thing is, if, for instance, so we came out here, right? We came out here. I didn't have any plan. I bought this plane ticket. I didn't have any plan. I like, fuck it. I just come by myself. True, true. And, and then, I, and then I, I reached out to the network. Urban Dan hit me up and said, hey, Sky. I can I can match that right yeah. I can match that and yeah. we can get you out that morning yeah so just I say buy your plane tickets yep. and then start soliciting yes you know what I'm saying like I'll be perfectly fine if I came here by myself yeah but you know having you cats here definitely enhanced it, 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 it enhanced experience for sure and that was the same kind of thing I was in Cuba with no internet okay do you understand what no internet means? No uploads. Okay, that means there's no access to the outside world. 
difficult. Urban Dan says to me, Knowles, Knowles, where are you at? And I was just like in Cuba trying to get out. Yeah. Then he says, come to Budapest. What I do? Book my ticket to Budapest. Flew 15 hours. Not in Budapest. Now I'm chilling. So you see, that's crazy. That's moving. That's moving and shaking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I threw the I threw the beacon out there and said, Hey, Budapest, Budapest, Budapest. Urban Dan picked it up. I didn't even know about Budapest. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, and then I said to him, I was like, Is it? Are these people called Budapestians or something? He's like, No, it's in Hungary. I was just like, Oh, oh, yeah. So okay. nobody really knew. So that's that's just crazy how we could all make moves together. Big moves. Yep. And power to us melanin people who are showing our faces out there and making the melanin pop. Pop it. Let them know what time it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, they gonna. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. My my uh, subscribers, they're gonna love you. So they're gonna probably want to see more of you. So we're oh. definitely gonna have to travel some more. The trio. I'm, I'm really shy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, this is part one. We're gonna do a part two when we get to the spot. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do a drunk one. Remember when we did that one with Noreen? Oh. That live? Yo, that live destroyed my Instagram. <laughs> Let's go.